Some storm, huh? I hope the lights don't go out. Spoke too soon. Ah. Ow! You got a flashlight? Yeah. There. Too bad we can't see in the dark like Rookie. Look at his eyes. Pretty sweet, huh? Rookie can see in the dark because his eyes have special parts. Special parts? Yeah. The parts of the eye work together to capture light and send information about it to our brain. Rookie's eyes have a few extra parts that let him see in the dark. Whoa, your pupils just shrunk. Yeah. In the dark, our pupils are big, and in bright light, they shrink. The shrinking makes the colored part, the iris, look bigger. Uh, isn't an iris a flower? <laughs> yeah, it's my mom's favorite. But the iris is the colored part of your eye, too. As flowers, irises are usually purple. But in eyes, that's rare. Usually, they're blue, green, or brown. Cool. So what's the pupil do? Pupils control the amount of light entering our eye. They get smaller to let in less light and bigger to let in more light. It's actually muscles in the iris that control the size of the pupil. Awesome. So that's how we see? That's part of it. Basically, we need our eyes, nerve fibers, and brain in order to see. Our eyes collect light that lets us know information like color, size, shape, distance, and movement. Then it's sent to our brain through our nerves. Does light just shine right into the nerves? Nope. The light passes through the cornea and the lens. The cornea is that clear part, right? Yep. The cornea is the clear outer layer that covers the iris and pupil. So the cornea is like a dome over the iris and pupil? Sorta. The lens is right under the cornea, and together they bend the light rays that pass through them, kind of like a projector at a movie theater. They project an upside-down image on the retina. Upside down? I know it's weird, but that's how it works. As the lens focuses the light on the image, it gets turned upside down before it hits the retina. The retina is like the movie screen. It's the lining at the back of the eyeball and is really sensitive to light. Like the pupils? Well, pupils just react to light. But when light hits the retina, it actually sends images to the optic nerve. Optic? Like optical illusion? <laughs> well, an optical illusion happens when your eyes are playing tricks on you and your brain is misinterpreting the signals. The optic nerve is anything but tricky. It's a bundle of nerve cells that sends messages between the retina and the brain. So the optic nerve tells your brain what you're seeing. Exactly. The optic nerve sends signals to the part of the brain that interprets what we see. <laughs> Sounds like Rookie's been paying attention. Good boy. What about you, Arge? Think you got it, or are you still in the dark? No, no, I got it, Sam. It works like this. We see with our eyes. Seems simple, but it's not. Our eyes have lots of complex parts. The cornea, the iris, the lens, the retina, and they all work together to gather information and pass it on to the optic nerve. Then, the optic nerve takes all that info in and sends signals to the brain, which tells us what we see. The eyes, optic nerve, and brain join forces to make sure we see clearly. Now that's what I call teamwork. And that's what I call shedding some light on the situation. <laughs> <laughs>